नमस्कार वेलकम टू साई इकोनॉमिक्स पॉइंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर वील डिस्कस डेरिवेशन ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी डिमांड कर एंड कॉम्पेंसेटेड डिमांड कर ओके सो लेट इट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट यू विल नो व्हाट यू मीन बाय कॉम्पेंसेटेड डिमांड कर व्हाट डज इट इज सोर्स एंड व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय ऑर्डिनरी डिमांड कर एंड व्हाट डज इट इज सोर्स ओके सी एन ऑर्डिनरी डिमांड कर सोर्स द इफेक्ट ऑफ प्राइस ऑन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इंक्लूसिव ऑफ ए सब्सटीट्यूशन इफेक्ट एंड इनकम इफेक्ट ओके दैट मींस द टोटल प्राइस इफेक्ट ओके देन कॉम्पेंसेटेड डिमांड कर इट इज शोस द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द प्राइस ऑफ ए गुड एंड द क्वांटिटी परचेज्ड ऑन द एजम्पशंस दैट प्राइसेस ऑफ अदर रिलेटिव गुड्स एंड यूटिलिटी आर हेल्ड कांस्टेंट आर यू गेटिंग माय पॉइंट ओके सो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट हाउ वी विल डिराइव द ऑर्डिनरी डिमांड कर एंड कॉम्पेंसेटेड डिमांड कर ओके सी इन फिगर ए सो दिस इज योर फिगर ए एंड दिस इज योर फिगर बी ओके इन फिगर ए एक्स एस सिक्स x axis represents quantity of crude x and y axis represents quantity of hot food y okay and in figure b x axis represents the quantity of good x okay and y axis represents the price of good y okay suppose price of a good x decreases okay let the price of good x decreases okay so when the price of good x falls okay or reduces okay the budget line shifts in outward okay so initially okay the old budget line was ab are you getting my point okay when the price of good x decreases so the budget line shifts from ab to ab1 okay so there is a shift in the budget line that is outward shift from ab to ab1 okay next due to the fall in price of good x the consumer's real income increases and the purchasing power of money increases okay so the consumer shifts to higher end difference curve previously the consumer was at equilibrium at e1 where the old budget line that is ab tangents to the original indifference curve ic1 at point e1 okay so he was purchasing ox1 of a quantity x and oy of a good y now due to the fall in price of a good x consumer's real income increases okay so he can purchase more because the purchasing power of money increases with the fall in the price so he will shift to the higher indifference curve because he is deriving more satisfaction okay so with the new budget line ab dash and the new indifference curve ic2 which is tangent at the point e2 the consumer attains equilibrium that is e2 is the new equilibrium point where ab dash or new budget line tangents to the new indifference curve at point e2 okay so so the shift from e1 to e2 that is x1 to x2 this is this total effect is called your total effect okay so this area that is x1 to x2 this area is called your total effect or your price effect okay which includes your substitution effect and income effect okay see with ab budget line that is ab budget line okay and the indifference curve ic1 okay the consumer was purchasing ox1 of a good x see ox1 of good x with the price of p1 so we will highlight this point a okay where the consumer purchases ox1 of good x with the price of p1 okay so you will get a point a okay now with the fall in the price that is from op1 to op2 the consumer purchases that is uh the good x okay o x1 to o x2 that means he is purchasing more of good x okay 
in comparison to previous that is when price was so p1 he was only purchasing x1 and with the decrease in the price okay when he is purchasing for the purchasing power of money increases now he is purchasing more of a good x that is from x1 to x2 okay so you will get another point b okay now joining these two points a and b okay joining these two points we will get ordinary demand curve or this is called your marcellian demand curve are you getting my point it's your uh, marcellian demand curve includes all effect that means it includes the total effect which includes substitution effect and income effects it is more flatter okay so ordinary demand curve or marcellian demand curve is flatter okay that means it is more elastic now we will discuss compensated demand curve okay hicks compensated demand curve or it is states that the relationship between price price and quantity demand keeping price of other goods and utility constant okay so to bring the consumer to the initial level okay so here with the fall in price the consumer shifts to point e to bring the consumer to the initial indifference curve okay that means we want to keep the utility constant or the real income constant so we have to compensate the consumer so that he will attain the equilibrium at the previous indifference curve at the original indifference curve so we have to reduce the money income hence when we will reduce the money income see the budget line that is the budget line shifts inward okay so with the reduction of money income the budget line that is a b test shifts to inward okay there is a inward shift in the budget line that is from a b test to c d okay so c d is the new budget line when we will reduce the money income of the consumer that means we compensate the consumer so that he will attain the equilibrium at the same or the original indifference curve okay so when we will reduce the money income of the consumer okay the budget line shifts inward but we have to keep in mind that the new budget line that is cd it should be parallel to ab days budget line see cd is parallel to ab budget line and next thing is it should tangent to the old indifference curve or the original indifference curve see here the cd new budget line it is tangents to the old our original indifference curve at point e3 are you getting my point so uh, what we'll get the consumer uh, here the consumer reduces the purchase of y previously he was purchasing o y of commodity now with the reduction in the prices see he was purchasing less of a good y that means this much he is substituting okay due to fall in the price of good x okay he will purchase more of good x okay and reduce the purchase of y so this is nothing but this is called x1 and x3 is called substitution effect because the consumer is shifting from e1 to e3 okay on the same indifference curve the consumer was staying in the same indifference curve because he utility deriving uh, the consumer was deriving the same utility okay but uh, due to fall in price he was purchasing more of good x and reduce purchase of a good y okay so the area x1 and x3 this is called the your substitution effect okay and x3 and x2 okay this area is called income effect due to shift in the indifference curve due to increase in the real money income of the consumer so this area is the x1 and x3 is the substitution effect and this one and this two is the your what income effect now we if we will extend this line say uh, make a dotted line like here so at when price reduces that means at op price we will get a new point that is c here in figure b we will get a new point c when price of a good x reduces so this is your x3 commodity the consumer now purchasing more of a x than previously because price of a good x reduces so by joining the point a and c what we will get we will get the compensated demand curve which is called hicksian demand curve and now if we will compare the ordinary demand curve and the compensated demand curve 
then we will see that compensated demand curve is less elastic in comparison to the ordinary demand curve. Why? Why it happens? Because we are eliminating the income effect here. See, we are not taking, see, we are ignoring the substitution effect here. So, this area, this is your income effect, okay. This area, this uh, x3 and x2, this effect is your income effect. We are ignoring this, we are eliminating the income effect, okay. Exchange of, we are taking only substitution effect. So, you will get a point here. So, uh, the Hicksian demand curve or compensated demand curve is less elastic and Marshallian demand curve or ordinary demand curve is more elastic because we are including income effect and total price effect consists of uh, substitution effect and income effect. So, it is more elastic than the compensated demand curve. So, this is all about the derivation of a ordinary demand curve and compensated demand curve. I hope uh, uh, I am clear about this topic. Okay. And hope this video is very helpful. If so, please like, comment and uh, uh, share my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.